I once thought I was good at self-sabotage, and then Rachel Zegler opened her mouth and made herself the most disliked Disney princess in the world, and now I feel a whole lot better about myself. Hi y'all, Snarky Jay Cosplay here. We have talked quite a bit on this channel about how uncreative these Disney remakes are, and not that long ago we talked quite a bit about how I really am not looking forward to the new Snow White remake on account of the fact that its leading lady seems to hate everything Snow White stands for. And now it seems Disney has had the good sense to actually delay this movie indefinitely, for reasons that we're gonna discuss a little here. Now before I start talking, I'm sure so many of you are looking at this lovely satin dress I'm wearing and thinking, wow, Snarky J cleans up so nice, she's so elegant. And if you weren't thinking that, be quiet, this is my channel, I'm gonna be a narcissist when I feel like it, okay? Anyways, in an interview that happened quite a little bit ago, which we talked about in one of my last videos, Rachel Zegler came out and basically offended the out of the original Snow White. She claimed that it was outdated, wanted to remind everybody that it wasn't 1937, and apparently it was a crime for Snow White to help the seven dwarves and later fall in love with the prince. What needed to happen was Snow White needed to be a girl boss, she needed to be a leader and be strong and powerful and all these other buzzwords that Rachel Zegler and everybody at Disney seems to really like now. And in another interview where Rachel Zegler stuck that foot of hers even deeper into into her own mouth. She claimed that what makes her Snow White unique is the fact that she is the hero of her own story. As if Mulan didn't literally save China, Anna and Elsa didn't use their sisterly love for each other to save their town. Moana didn't effectively save her own island. Tiana didn't open a restaurant on her own to follow her dreams. Merida didn't use the power of a mother and daughter bond in order to save her life. Ariel didn't save the prince and learn the true value of her own voice. I mean, honestly, we have some beautiful stories of powerful princesses literally everywhere. And Rachel Zegler has taken it upon herself to campaign and act like these Disney princesses are doing nothing but turning little girls into mush. And she needs to come out with the Snow White movie that's gonna really teach us all a big fat lesson full of nothing. Anyways, I don't have a personal vendetta against this woman. I think that she is just ruining what the rest of us are trying to say. She's literally coming out and acting like every Disney princess we ever identified with as kids has been brainwashing us into being victims of the patriarchy or some bullshit. So now, after the entirety of Twitter and YouTube has pretty much turned against Rachel Zegler and this new Disney remake in ways that I don't think Disney could have ever expected, the the original release date that they were planning on is actually not going to last at all. Like, it's gonna be way delayed. And in a way, if we want to be sensible, we could blame it on the sag after strikes, right? I mean, everything has gotten delayed. The sequel to The Batman has gotten delayed. The release of Deadpool 3, a bunch of shows and movies that we've all been highly anticipating, they're all being delayed on account of this sag after strike that's been going on for the past couple of months. Nothing can be produced if the writers and actors are not coming to set to work, so that makes sense. But what I really think is going on with Snow White, why I really think that they've actually had to kind of address the fact that it's going to be delayed is because Rachel Zegler just won't close her mouth. Disney is not a fan of people saying things that go against their messaging, and the problem here is that yes, Disney wants to push the whole girl boss thing, but what Rachel Zegler is doing is actually trashing one of Disney's most beloved properties. Snow White is the movie that kicked off Disney's animation studios to begin with. Snow White put Disney on the map. I was never all that big a fan of Snow White and I had plenty of her dolls and plenty of her merchandise and she was on every Disney princess backpack I ever carried because she's one of the originals. And when you cast somebody to play her and all she's doing is talking about how pointless her story was and how creepy her prince was, well, it kind of seems like you've just hired somebody to attack your own brand. For as much as anybody ever wanted to complain about Halle Bailey being cast as the Little Mermaid, 
mermaid. All she ever did was talk about how important the character was to her. She dressed up for the themes. She hyped it up. I mean, she really did a great job of promoting the movie and of embodying Ariel and who Ariel is as a character. But Rachel Zegler has come out and actively attacked Snow White and Disney at pretty much every turn. And so my theory is that Disney has felt obligated to delay this movie because they know that we don't want to hear this woman preach another f***ing minute. I know for a fact that I personally don't need to be lectured about how wrong Snow White was for falling in love with a prince, and I definitely don't need to be told that thinking about anything other than leadership and power makes me a weak-minded female, which is exactly the kind of messaging that Rachel Zegler seems to be putting out there. And on Twitter, she has blamed the backlash on misogyny and how disgusting men are. Well, I'm 100% female and I think this is bullshit too, so as we would say in 2014, come at me bro. Hopefully Disney's indefinite delay turns into a forever delay because I really can't imagine anybody being all that excited to go watch this or to take their kids to watch this, especially since all it's gonna do is trash the original story that has been beloved for over 70 years. <laughs> That's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. For more Snarky J, be sure to check out my Instagram and to support my content creation, feel free to take a look at my Patreon. I will link both in the description below. And let me know your thoughts on Snow White getting delayed in the comments below.